Would you like to learn more about the Rolling Creek Ranch subdivision in Granbury, Texas? Well, stay tuned because we're driving through there next. Okay, we are going through the front entrance of Rolling Creek Ranch. We're gonna drive through this subdivision. Gates open, which is great. I do have a code though. Okay, here we go. Rolling Creek Ranch is located 45 miles southwest of Fort Worth here in Granbury, Texas. It sits on about 300, a little over 300 acres. There's about 280 buildable lots in this subdivision. And it was developed by the Texas Land Partners in three phases. So the Texas Land Partners is the same group that developed Mountain Lakes out in Bluffdale. They developed um, Bentwater here in Granbury. So they know what they're doing. Um, we just came through the main gate. There's two entrances. One is off of Lusk Branch Road, which is off Fall Creek Highway. And then the other one, which is more of a service entrance, is going to be located off of Matlock. The amenities include a pavilion and um, there's lots of ponds out here. Uh, they also recently built a basketball court that I um, have seen. We'll see if we can't get over there and check that out. So homes started being complete in about 2017 and um, they're still building today. As you can see, there's some empty lots. There's builder signs in front of them. I love the topography of this subdivision. It's very undulating. There's rolling hills. There's some trees out here. There's some lots that are heavily treed. There's some lots that have no trees at all on them. Um, so the type of homes that you're gonna see here are only gonna be site-built homes. You're not gonna see any mobile homes. So these site-built homes are gonna range anywhere from about 2,500 to 3,800 square feet. And they'll be on a size of a lot that's probably one acre to as much as three acres. So um, kind of a cool story that um, this property was listed many years ago for a very long time. And the home is over here to the right. I'm gonna unclip it so you can see it. This home right here, it's kind of a Spanish style home. That house was built back in 1973 and um, it was uh, 52, or actually it is 5,200 square feet. It has six bedrooms in it, six bathrooms. And oh my goodness, did that family love them some purple. And um, there was purple countertops in there and avocado green appliances and some crazy dark purple carpet. Anyway, that's the only um, home out here that um, is an older home because that was their original home on this property. Everything else is gonna be new construction. So um, your service providers out here, the electric is United Co-op. I love United Co-op. I've always had such a great experience with them. I have a property that is on United Co-op. Your water provider is AMUD, which is Acton Municipal Utility District. And uh, their office is actually right outside the front gate here on Lusk Branch Road. And your sewer system is gonna be an individual septic system. So septics, um, I wouldn't be afraid of a septic system. This isn't your granny's old septic system that always had problems. Um, if you will, you know, if you maintain your septic system, it's going to last you for the lifetime that you're going to be in the home. Um, you know, you don't want to put anything in your septic system that that probably hasn't gone through your body first. You know, you don't want to put eggshells in there, and um, you know, you want to maintain them by having them pumped out every three to five years, depending on usage. You know, how many people are in the home and and what type of usage you're having. But um, I wouldn't be afraid of a septic system. So um, the website for Rolling Creek Ranch, they do have, uh, the HOA has a website, which is rollingcreekranch.org. Some market data, I just pulled this market data yesterday, which was March 31st, 2022. Uh, this is not a gigantic subdivision. Remember, there's only a few hundred homes here, so you're not gonna see a lot of churn in this neighborhood. Uh, there's one home on the market currently in Rolling Creek Ranch. 
six homes sold in the last 90 days and the average sales price was $705,000, which was $242 a square foot. There are no homes in here that are gonna be attached to Lake Granberry, but these are some fast, fantastic large lots for people that want more space and they don't wanna be right on top of each other. There is a mandatory membership homeowners association and um, your fees include full use of the facilities, which is just maintenance of common areas. They take care of the gates and, uh, you know, they keep the front gate fantastic. I mean, it's just beautiful. They always have the most gorgeous um, uh, floral arrangements out there. Not really floral arrangements, but, but uh, you know, just uh, plants and stuff. So we're coming up on the uh, pavilion and uh, the initiation fee out here is $1,000. The transfer fee is $500 and your annual assessment is $726. So the initiation and transfer fee, those are one-time fees. And then your annual assessment is something that you would pay every year, $726. So we're going to end up right over here where the pavilion is and where the basketball courts are. And as always, if you would like more information about this subdivision or any other subdivision, please reach out to me. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and uh, please click the subscribe button because we are constantly posting new videos. Thanks again for watching. Make it a great day.